When you're living with purpose, is when your mind is just one thousand percent on focus, like a locust. Yeah, y'all know locusts, Moses, all them on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all know. <laughs> you know, family. It is such a blessing each and every day to have the opportunity to have a mind to be able to focus. A lot of people just walking around in their avatar. You know, absent their real body on the mothership. Oh, we gonna unpack it today. <laughs> I just set up and wonder. You have to take a really, really good look at the King of Memphis pulling up into Memphis to pass out turkeys. That particular day, young Dolph was even in the hood in somebody's apartment. We seen it on video. He was just this millionaire of a real brother that had compassion in his heart to go to the hood and do what Jesus would do. If that don't hurt you or touch your heart, he would come into your apartment. Apartment ain't worth $10 compared to the rich. He would come and see about you. Cause he from the streets. He been where you been. He seen what you seen. He could hear about you going through something. And he would pop up with his heart on the scene to help his people who fighting a lost cause as long as they don't stand up and fight for a fucking dream. Young Dolph instilled a whole lot of hope in a whole lot of people. White and black. He made a lot of people rich. White and black. He taught us from his heart entrepreneurship. All heart, no slack. When you meet a man like that, you can't have nothing but respect. Especially when he's black, but not only that, when he move like that. So how is y'all gonna let the king of Memphis pull up in Memphis, born from Chicago? Uplift Memphis. And watch his life just go. Damn, 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 damn. Damn! That's why I, please forgive me, Lord, I hate a Oreo. Because an Oreo cookie believes in making shit sweet in a fucking cookie shop. It just killed a good beast.
I said, good beast. Because up here, with this entrepreneurship and being black and doing what Jesus would do requires the thinking of a good beast to beat the evil beast. So I'm just really effed up being from Chicago. All of my ties, my backgrounds, I don't participate in none of that no more. But I look, but I look, all my brothers, there's vice lords, there's GDs, there's Crips, there's Bloods, whatever. Mickey Cobras. I can say that today because Farrakhan changed my life. And before he changed my life, you wouldn't want to meet me any day. This whole young Dolph case. It reeks of corruption. But not just any corruption. Police corruption. H O. Police corruption. Because you got to be a whole ass mom. You got to be a real hoe to let that shit go down with your own bro. Who put the whole city on and had the city on go. But ultimately, when he was assassinated, you couldn't find nobody to rotate that boat. Keylock had to step in, step up, and command his post. Do he have any information or was he involved in this? Inside of our heart, we want to say no. Just lost somebody. Success comes from going to work on a plan and keeping your mouth and your ears. Justice for young Dolph and take off. I love it right here. And a hero ain't gotta be black. Cause they white too. So stay true.